Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about the latest revelation on Russian President Putin's secret property. There are many conspiracy theories about Russian President Vladimir Putin's wealth, properties, wives, and children. Here is the latest one. Putin has a secret dacha with a waterfall and missiles. If we have your attention, then stay till the end. To start with, let us understand what a dacha is. A dacha is a house in rural areas that people live in, use for leisure, and grow crops in. In Russia and the other countries that used to be part of the USSR, dachas can be small townhomes or big farm buildings on plots of land that are at least one hectare in size. A dacha is a plot of land that is a few tens or hundreds of square meters and has a yard, inhabited buildings, and outbuildings. Also, dachas were once called big forest areas split up for farming. Putin's dacha is as big as the Principality of Monaco. Monaco is a city-state and microstate in Western Europe. It is on the French Riviera, a few miles west of Liguria in Italy, facing the Mediterranean Sea. France lies to the north, east, and west of it. It is about 208 hectares or 510 acres or 2.1 kilometer meter square. It's Vladimir Putin's secret residence, according to a video released by the Dossier Center, which is in charge of monitoring the network built around the Kremlin and the power system centered on the president. The images show the property in Karelia, in northern Russia, about 30 kilometers from the border with Finland. On the shores of Lake Ladoga in the Leningrad Oblast, the Russian president reportedly visits at least once a year, following his usual visit to the Balan Monastery, one of the country's main religious sites. The area is within Russia's National Park, a four-square-kilometer area, which includes a rich portion of forest, is surrounded by fences and barbed wire, with an impressive 24-7 security apparatus. Inside, in addition to a central residence, there is everything needed for the Kremlin leader's relaxation, from a sauna to a restaurant to the, obviously private, pier. Among the optional features is a battery of Panzer S-1 missiles to deter unwanted guests or intruders. The project, apparently financed by some oligarchs with the involvement of Roman Abramovich in particular, took nearly 10 years to complete. According to the Dossier Center, it is known that construction began in 2016, but until now, according to the organization, no images have circulated. The video shows the central unit of the property. In the dacha, there is also a private 4-meter waterfall, in theory, since it is located within the national park, it should be accessible to everyone. In reality, it is reserved for Putin, who can sit with his guests inside a luxurious gazebo, which is a small building with open sides and a garden or yard, especially where you can sit and enjoy the view of the surrounding area. In contrast, the Central Election Commission of Russia published information on Putin's income and assets as a candidate for the presidency. According to this data, over the six years preceding the election year, Putin earned more than 0.9125 million US dollars or about 1 million US dollars at current exchange rates. Among the sources of income listed are salary, income from securities and deposits, military pension, and property sales. The head of state has a total of 10 accounts in banks, totaling about approximately 0.7346 million US dollars. Putin also stated in the declaration that he owns 230 shares of JSC Bank St. Petersburg, with a nominal value of 0.159435 US dollars per share. According to the published information, Putin owns an apartment and a garage in St. Petersburg, which are 77 and 18 square meters, respectively. In addition, the head of state owns three passenger cars, a 1960 Gazin 21, a 1965 Gazin 21, a 2009 Neva, and a 1987 Skiff trailer. In the section Obligations of Property Nature, he indicated an apartment, 153.7 square meter, perpetual use, disposal by the Moscow government, and a parking space, 18 square meter, perpetual use, membership in a garage cooperative, in St. Petersburg. Do you think it is Western propaganda or there is some reality in these claims? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.